All right, ladies and gentlemen, the other day I had the chance to sit down and talk with Ted Nugent, legendary rocker, proud conservative and not afraid to speak about it. And I asked him to start off with, I asked him about Obama's recent gun grab. I never went to college, Steve, because I was too busy learning stuff, you know what I mean? And uh, what I've learned is you can smell a rat every time. And anybody that was paying attention to what Barack Obama represented before he scammed the American public with his smoke and mirrors and his, his Saul Alinsky, Cloward, Piven, Frank, Marshall, Davis BS, um, we smelled a rat. He's just too damn slick. He's been just groomed to fool the dumbing down victims, the, self, the self-inflicted dumbing down victims of America. And nobody in their right mind, and I do mean correct, educated, conscientious, logical, self-evident, truth-grasping mind, will believe this punk. This guy does want an unarmed public. This guy does want to economically ruin America. This guy hates America. He hates the Constitution. He hates the Bill of Rights. I believe, as so many Americans are learning more and more every day, that the President of the United States hates freedom he's the enemy of america and if you don't believe me maybe you have somebody ought to share a few campfires with me and the heroes of the u.s marine corps and the navy seals and the green berets and the special ops and the army and the air force and the national guard the men and women who take a vow to the constitution tell me over and over and over again steve their hearts are broken they are shattered because they absolutely believe that the commander-in-chief is the enemy of America, and they've got to follow his orders. We have heard Republican leader after Republican leader chastise this president for violating the Constitution, breaking the law. Is it then not their constitutional duty to, to start impeachment proceedings? You know, I'm just a guitar player, Steve. <laughs> but I, I always thought there was an executive, a legislative, and a judicial branch, branch and they're supposed to be watchdogs over each other. And now, and again, I, the, the term heartbreak often surfaces uh, in the communication I have with conscientious, real Americans who understand the Bill of Rights and the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, the American dream that's unique and special and better than any place else in the world. We are absolutely shattered that the executive, the legislative, and the judicial are, are now one big gang. I can't tell the Crips from the Bloods here. Yes, the whole system. You know, there's a military term I could give you, but I'll, it's a three-syllable beauty. I'll give you the first two. Cluster. <laughs> uh, it's, it's an absolute cluster <laughs> out there. And the president is the engineer and the ramrod for the worst cluster in the history of America. Well, I'm glad you gave me the first word. <laughs> what is this? Planet of the Apes flew over the cuckoo's nest? Clockwork Orange? Is it, who, who is this? Mad Magazine auditions? Well, first of all, let me ask you about what took place uh, over the weekend, the release of our hostages, prisoners, whatever you want to call them, from Iran. Uh, and then, then a day later, uh, three of our American uh, civilians there in Iraq are taken hostage or kidnapped. I want you to hear what, what uh, Donald Trump, uh, cut 86, uh, had to say about that. Listen to this. Three people have just been kidnapped in Iraq because they see, what the heck, we pay $150 billion for four people, three people just this morning, and this is going to take place all over. They should have come back as part of the deal three years ago when they started talking about the deal. Not now. Not now. What do you say? Well, I watched Donald Trump give that speech uh, live, and uh, who could disagree with that? We are now doing the Jimmy Carter redo boogie. Um, this is a time for a Ronald Reagan uh, uh, bully pulpit and uh, a giant fist on top of that bully pulpit where we have respect again. The reason that Americans are in danger around the world, the reason that the jihadists are running amok, is because the number one hope for real security and freedom in the world, the United States of America, is being run by a, by a rookie community organizer from Chicago that was raised by Frank Marshall Communist Davis and, and adheres to the Saul Alinsky book of destroying America, and her, his Valerie Jarrett dog handler um, is a Cloward Piven uh, wannabe. And, and again, <laughs> this isn't a Ted Nugent hunch. I didn't like 
contemplate the possibilities here. It is glaring, Steve. It is absolutely obtuse and outrageous that anybody could... I'm writing a piece right now that will be surfacing in the next few days. The top 20 reasons you can tell that Democrats and liberals and Obama supporters are insane. And it goes right back. I could pick any one of thousands. But so that a the Wicked Witch of the West can actually squalor. You don't need to read this. You need to find, the, find out what's in it. That's okay with who? That works where? We need to redistribute the earnings of hardworking people to give to people who aren't willing to produce? That works where? And we will have more with Ted Nugent on tomorrow night's show. Next, Jeffrey Lord talking Donald Trump.